T4.5. Consider an experiment to investigate the effectiveness of different insecticides in controlling pests and their impact on the productivity of tomato plants. What is the best reason for randomly assigning treatment levels, which are going to be spraying or not spraying, to the experimental units, which are the farms? All right. Um, now, I always feel that the reason for random assignment is to create roughly equivalent groups. Okay. And this is so that when it's time to assign the treatments, there's, there's really nothing systematically different about your groups except for the treatment. So any differences you see in the response can now be attributed to the treatment and nothing else. Okay, um, so let's look at the answer choices and see if there's anything that sounds vaguely similar to creating roughly equivalent groups. All right, uh, choice A, random assignment eliminates the effects of other variables like soil fertility. Okay, I like it. Um, I eliminates is a pretty strong word i would say reduces right it reduces the effects um, but let's keep reading okay uh, b random assignment eliminates chance variation in the responses uh, and i don't think you can eliminate chance variation there's still going to be you know differences uh, from one farm to another like even two farms that both get sprayed are not going to have the exact same response uh, because there's just going to be natural variation between those farms. So I'm comfortable eliminating B. Uh, choice C. Random assignment allows researchers to generalize conclusions about the effectiveness of the insecticides to all farms. Okay, that one I know is false. Uh, had it said random sampling, then it would be true. Right? Random sampling allows us to generalize. Random assignment allows us to make cause and effect conclusions. Okay, uh, D. Random assignment will tend to average out all other uncontrolled factors such as soil fertility so that they are not confounded with the treatment effects. I like that one. Okay, we'll save that. Uh, choice E. Random assignment helps avoid bias due to the placebo effect. Um, well, the placebo effect, I don't know like how that applies to farms uh, usually the placebo effect is it's like a psychological effect that happens with when your subjects are humans I don't see how that applies here also the word bias usually isn't used when we're talking about experiments um, usually it's confounding uh, is the term that we use with experiments and bias is a term for sampling okay so I like a and D uh, I've made a comment about a which is the word eliminate is a little bit too strong for for me personally i would have preferred it said random assignment reduces the effects of other variables like soil fertility and statement d also mentioned that too it talked about averaging out or balancing out um, these uncontrolled factors so that they're not confounded right when things are balanced out or average out to me it sounds like we've got roughly equivalent groups if everything else is being balanced out. So I think D is the best choice um, in terms of this idea of creating roughly equivalent groups.